Next stop, the wartime fire pump that was put to good use in peacetime after a freak tidal surge. The 1953 floods that, uh, that devastated the east coast all the way down to Canby Island, South End, down that way. Apparently this pump was used to discharge flood water in one of the towns, so it's got a bit of history about it. Now then, Doug. All right, mate. Owner Doug Hadley has researched this one's movements along the east coast. It was at Mablethorpe, and then they let Kestephen have it, and then when the floods came, they fetched it back to pump the cellars out. Did they really? Yeah. There you are, look, there's yeah, look at that, instructions. Yeah. Wow. So it's a climax, this one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's all been done, everything, all the rock holes, everything's been done properly. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? You okay? I'm taking the weight off you. Oh, steady! <laughs> be no good us going to a fire, would it? Hey, right at the other end of the village. Doug is slightly more qualified than Derek, though. I was in the fire service, retained here, at some accounts. Is there any fires? <laughs> Started plenty. <laughs> Derek thinks that this Lincolnshire fire pump is going to cause a lot of interest at the auction. Nice ones like this that's all nicely complete, everything's with it by the looks of things. It looks as though it would go to work tomorrow. If it were mine, I wouldn't sell it for less than a thousand pounds. The Lincolnshire fire pump is going into the next auction. It's Derek's kind of machine. Coventry Fire Max, a lovely little engine. Got a little, little side valve engine in there, copied from the little um, little Morris Minor side valve engine. And the novelty thing is a, a pyrene fire extinguisher, which it carried and sat in there. So that all sits in there. And we've even got the bucket, proper fire bucket there, that, uh, that they used to carry. Of course, full of sand. That would be full of sand. And there's where you swing it, as you can see. That's your, that's your starting handle, if you like. You just find a water source. Uh, um, it didn't have to be a pressurised hydrant, apparently. It sucked and blow. Uh, so it would suck it out of the, the pond, a stream, or in London's case, very often the Thames. This is a proper piece of history. Uh, and I think everyone should have a fire pump. I think any serious car collector with a, with a nice shed with you know, 15 or 20 cars in or whatever like that, don't care what cars you've got in there. You know, maybe Maseratis, Ferraris, Bentleys or whatever. If this stood in the corner when you went in, everyone would talk about that pump. Everyone. In fact, the guy that buys this won't know that he wants it until he gets it. And then when he sees it, he'll want it. And it's as simple as that. As the crowds gather for auction day, there's proof that all is not lost for the next generation. Well, we've already got one classic car and we're looking at a little bit of a, a project that we, can, that we can work on with the kids. Something small, a couple of minis that we're looking at. We do. We've got our own little man cave workshop at home. There's enthusiasm for some bits of auto memorabilia. Thought we'd be missing from the wife. There's a lot of people bidding on this, actually. Well, look, on that dressing table, there's tiny little candles and... It's the best old house ever, isn't it? But scepticism for others. Michelin advert clock, highly desirable. I suspect copies. They're too posh to be in a garage, but they look very good. And the fire pump, appealing to the converted. I have what's called an Austin K2 fire engine, which pulls one of these. My wife doesn't know, but I'm looking for another fire engine, so... I need another trailer pump. 1953 Coventry Climax trailer pump. Start me on it. Where are we going to be? No reserve. Where? Thousand. Eleven. Twelve hundred pound. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred pound and going. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen hundred pound there. Fourteen hundred the seats going. Fourteen hundred pound. Gee, the bidder. Fourteen hundred. Always, always wanted to be a fireman, didn't you? Fourteen hundred pound and away and going is the fifteen. Be sharp. Fourteen hundred pound last time looking around. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen. Graham Martin, the lucky bidder. He is a man possessed when it comes to collecting classics. His favourite, the 1960 Ford Zodiac. 
everybody thinks it was mad because he sold the Jag for the Zodiac. Well, you'll never buy it, neither will anybody else. The Zodiac is my baby. It will always be my baby, and it'll go nowhere. Everything about it just screams class. Everybody loves it. I do one or two on weddings with it. Yeah, I just, I just absolutely love the cat. Along with his brother, David, Graham has built up a great collection of vehicles in a short space of time. About six years ago, we started to collect properly. And I guess at the moment, we've got 50 cars, a wagon, three tractors, and about 130 motorbikes. If it's anything to do with motoring, we'll have it. A few years ago, they were so excited by this 1976 Volvo, they got in it and didn't stop driving. It lands into Johnny Groats uh, through woods and all sorts. Didn't just land into Johnny Groats up a motorway. We set off and all we wanted to do was get from one end to the other. We end up with a third in class and got a nice trophy and everything that, for it. So. The wife seat was by me. My wife seems a bit more understanding than David. David thinks he's off his head. But there you are, it's our life. It's what we love, it's what we enjoy. Graham and David have bought many of their vehicles from Derek, but at the last auction, they nearly went home empty-handed. There was nothing car-wise or motorbike-wise that we could really say yes to. So we were looking around and I said, buy, that's a cute little thing. David said, I love that. He's not looking any better, fat boy. And it looked a lot better. Like all machines in their collection, the Coventry Climax fire pump will be restored and then put to good use. I want to get up and running. There's a river down here, I'll maybe take it down to the river and just see how hard it, hard it does pump. So then it's just, just got to be a show thing, but it, yeah. it's something we don't see at shows. It's lovely and mechanical, or the brass, it's a lovely thing. British history. Mm. We love British history. Mm.